Hi guys, my name is Trinity. If you're here, you're here to see week two of my vlogs of doing the ultimate unhaul project. And I have finished another book, the written by Ben Galley. This book, I enjoyed it. I'm glad I read it. It was fun, entertaining. I don't know if it's the series for me though. Like I really enjoyed the first book, but I don't know that I need any more of it. <laughs> Although with the ending that it had, I kind of do want to see how it plays out, but I'm not super, super eager to pick up the second book. But that means that we need to draw another book. Give it a shake. All right, here we go. Kind of hoping for something that's a little light because vacation is coming. I said light, didn't I? The Hellborn King. <sighs> Starting another series. <laughs> and this one is definitely not light. So this is another one that I have on audio. And like I said, with this unhaul project, I'm not only trying to clear off my shelves, I'm trying to get the massive amount of audio that I have on my phone, like read, because <laughs> there's so much of it. I have a ton of audio, I have a ton of ebooks, I have a ton of physical books. So um, I have this on audio and ebook, and I'm excited. I'm really excited for it. But also, this is not light, and I hope I can finish it before. We go on vacation because if not I, I don't I don't know I might I'm taking my Kindle so I might still try it and read it then was planning on reading No Land for Heroes while I was on vacation but we shall see Let's see how this goes <laughs> Hey guys, um, at this point you guys have probably seen my updates from vacation, little videos that I have inserted for vacation. So um, I've kind of changed the way I'm going to go about doing this a little bit. You guys have probably seen me update my first vlog to say vlog number one instead of week one because I hit a boo-boo and when I went on vacation it kind of opened my eyes to the fact that I was a little burnt out. and. So I took like a week off from reading. I just played video games. Mass Effect pretty much is what I played and kind of played through all of Melee and gave myself a little bit of a reset. And in doing so, I feel like I'm in a better headspace than I've been in quite a while. Now, here is another thing that has occurred. <laughs> So I am reading No Land for Heroes. I did start that on vacation. I'm really enjoying it. I can't wait to get further into the book and find out what's going on. But I've spent a lot of time on the Hellborn King. For some reason, it's not clicking for me. Now, I do think that this is because of my mood, not because I'm not enjoying the book. Now, I was afraid that this was going to happen. I was more afraid that it was going to happen with some of the sci-fi I was reading. Hello, Drake. He's huffing at me. Anyway, um, I was more afraid it was going to happen with some of the sci-fi I'm reading. I'm not surprised it has happened with a fantasy book. 
like I said, I didn't realize I was hitting burnout until vacation came and I had a few days off. And then, you know, I was just sipping coffee on the porch, overlooking this like beautiful landscape in the mountains, had my Kindle, reading No Land for Heroes, and I was just having the best time. However, when I came back and tried to start The Hellborn King, the the mood shifted for me and my brain. And I was like, no, I this is not what I'm in the mood for. Now, I'm about 20% into it. And I do think that I will like this book. It's giving me Faithful in the Fallen vibes. It's giving me Five Warrior Angels vibes. So this is a book I should love. I should love. So I'm definitely convinced it is mood and nothing beyond that that is turning me off from this book. And that's, it happens sometimes. Like you pick up a book thinking you're going to love it and then you realize you're not in the mood for it and have to set it aside. It happens. <clears throat> now I have talked to Christopher Brenning and he is kindly going to be sending me an updated version of the book later on, which, you know, that might work out for the best because I'm actually not in the mood to read it now. Whenever it does come, then I might actually <laughs> be in the mood to read it then. And my excitement will be amplified because it's coming from Christopher Brenning himself. And so, yeah, like, I don't think this is a bad book at all. And I actually think I'm really going to enjoy it. I just, I'm, I'm not in the mood for it right now. So we're going to set it aside. I will pick it up again. But that does mean that I need to draw another book. Like I said, I'm still reading No Land for Heroes, but that's not part of my reader unhaul project that I wanted to do. It was, I want to read that book. So let's see what we will be reading next. Darling Girl. Interesting. Interesting. So this is a book of the month book. It's a Peter Pan retelling and I'm actually pretty excited for it. Let me grab it. So the thing that has put me off from reading this book, the reason I haven't picked it up is because it's had so many mixed reviews that I'm really not sure what to think going into it. So I, I do think this being on the smaller side, not needing to devote so much attention to it, I probably will have a better time mood wise with this book than I would The Hellborn King currently. And it's a familiar story. So I do think that this is probably going to be better suited to my mood this go round. And then I'll pick up The Hellborn King whenever I'm in the mood for the really dark, you know, gung ho fantasy later on. Wow. Okay. This lighting is horrible and the sound quality is probably going to be bad, but I'm trying not to wake up my husband. I have a little bit of an update. So I had planned to start Darling Girl for this project and almost immediately after I filmed my little clip, the audio for Hellbent was released to me via Libby and I'm actually like a hundred pages into Hellbent. It's funny because I really, I remember a lot of the first book, Ninth House, and even going into this, remembering what happened in Ninth House, I'm still a little lost. And I have figured out that part of that is because you're supposed to be. <laughs> like, it bounces back and forth in the timeline a little bit. And so I'm like, I don't remember this being where we left off. And it's because we that's not where we left off. And then something will be talked about, and I'm like, well, where did that come from? And then it gets explained later. So am I liking this as much as Ninth House? No. And it's for those reasons. I don't like dual timeline. And I know we're trying to find Darlington, which, hello, there was a really hilarious scene um, that happened. And I was like, okay, she said that we went there. And <laughs> I don't, I don't know how to process that yet. But I am really enjoying this. I do plan to start Darling Girl, but since this was Libby, I'm on a time crunch with it. Libby, I'm having issues with because it gives me a time frame of when the book is going to be released to me. I'm, I'm sure this is the same with everyone. It's never correct. Never correct. Not even close to correct. And so when I get the books, it's out of the blue. And I'm like, okay. Well, I guess we're reading this now. And this happens to me every single time. Part of this might be my ADHD just being weird and me not paying attention. But I will have one that says it's two weeks out and get it in two days. And so I'm just kind of like, whatever, sure, okay, well, we're doing this now, I guess. But 
as far as like the unhaul project goes, obviously these are books that I have on my shelves that I want to immersive read. And that's why I'm going through Libby to get the audio. Hellbent, obviously I wanted to listen to it because the uh, audio for Ninth House was pretty great. And I feel like the narrator, I can't remember her name right now, uh, does Alex Stern really well. So um, I am looking forward to, you know, figuring out more about Darlington, what happened to him and all of that stuff. But anyway, all of that to say, uh, the hold for Darling Girl that I had placed says that there are three copies available and three people reading the book. So I should have that by the time I finish Hellbent and then we'll move on to that. And yeah, that that's kind of my update for now. And like I said, sorry about the lighting and the sound quality because I'm trying not to go back to my library and wake my husband up. So that's where we are right now. <laughs> Hi, hello, hello. It has been a moment. So let me say that I have had a weird week. We talked about it a little bit. Um, Hellborn King didn't work out for me because I was not in the mood for dark, which is weird for me, I know. And then I moved on to something else dark and now I'm reading another thing that's dark, but they're not so heavy. They're not so dense. And so I'm still reading dark, dark things. <laughs> so let's talk about what I have read. I finally finished Hellbent. Uh, so Libby took over. Let's just say Libby took over. As soon as I decided to set down Hellborn King, Libby, like three of my holds just came available and I was like, okay, so we're doing this. This is what we're doing. But yes, Hellbent. So this one, I have to say, I was slightly disappointed by. Now, I don't want you to go in thinking, oh, it's not as good as Ninth House. It's different. It's very different because the setup of Ninth House is the setup for what happens in Hellbent. And I think that the execution of this book would have been a little bit better if the middle part hadn't slowed down to focus so much on what needed to be done. And they moved, they moved forward with what, what they needed to do. So the, there are probably like 20 pages in this middle that could have just been cut out and didn't need to happen. So there was a point when I was reading that, that I was like, I'm, I'm going to DNF it. It's going to happen. I'm going to DNF it. And so I started talking to one of my friends who had read it and was like, listen, you got to tell me something. Tell me something good because I'm not vibing with this book. So the first part's good. And then it kind of peters off a little bit and then it gets really boring. But as soon as you get to the part labeled The Descent, it's all uphill from there with a highly explosive ending that I absolutely loved. So I'm still going to highly recommend this series. Like I said, there was a point when I was like, I'm going to DNF this. I can't handle it. <laughs> but if you push past that part, it still turns out to be a fantastic book. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy that this came up. And then we all know that Libby hit again. And I was reading Darling Girl. I'm still reading Darling Girl. I'm only about 100 pages into this. And I totally get why people don't like this. There is a lot of content warnings for this book. And I would look them up because I'm only 100 pages. And I've already come across things that are feeling sketchy. They're feeling pretty sketchy. And I'm like, where are we going with this? But I wholeheartedly adhere to the idea of Pan as a villain. Totally, totally get that aspect of this book. And I'm very interested to see where it goes. Now, I don't think I'm going to be as harsh in my rating of this book as other people have been because I like dark things. So I'm enjoying it. I'm really enjoying it. And I want to see where it goes because right now we are with the great granddaughter of Wendy Darling. The Darlings are known to have been in association with Peter Pan. Everyone knows the fable. They think it's a fable. They don't really think that it's a true life thing, but they always want to talk about the fable of Peter Pan and all that stuff. But our main character knows very differently and has been trying to protect her kids from Peter Pan ever since they were born. And then horrific things have happened and she's still trying to protect her kids from Peter Pan. But there's, there's, there's a connection that I'm, I'm concerned. I'm concerned, <laughs> but I do think it is pretty good so far. And I am really enjoying it. I know a lot of people have discounted it for its content, but 
I think you just need to know what you're getting into when you go into this book and the synopsis does not do it justice. On that note, Libby has struck again. <laughs> I was talking about this on my discord um for some reason my Libby where I live like the the way the borrowing is is not like other people's and I don't know if it's like just Oklahoma their libraries are like this but I'm having issues so whenever you sign into Libby how long do you guys get to have the books for because I get seven days from the time I accept it I have seven days to read it and I've heard people have like 30 or 14 sometimes. And I'm like, I wish I had that long because then I could just finish what I'm reading and move on. No, I've got to read the book that's sent to me. And then if I go to be like, send it to me later, it never shows up when it's supposed to. Like the send it to me in two days, it doesn't show up in two days. It ends up like two weeks later. So whatever, whatever. But Libby struck again and I will be reading The Circus Train. So this one is a novel it's set in world war ii it's about a girl who works for the circus her family runs the circus and she ends up being injured um i think injured ma, ma, ma. no she contracts polio and is confined to a wheelchair and this is about her story and her survival and struggle and still wanting to live her own life make a name for herself and like i said the struggles that she comes up against and being confined to a wheelchair so i'm pretty excited for this one and i'm going to stop this video here but i am pretty excited with where i've gotten so far in this unhaul project i also am currently reading no land for heroes i haven't gotten very far in it because libby keeps trying to be like you have to read this um but i love it i love it so far and like i just can't wait to read more of it I hate putting it off to read these, but I, I end up back on a wait list if I don't read them. So, <laughs> all right, that is it for me today. Like, subscribe, do all the fun things. I'll see you guys in the next video. And hopefully in the next vlog, I will get through No Land for Heroes, The Circus Train, Darling Girl, and all that. And then we can draw another book. <laughs> Have a great day.